Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today Terry and I are going to be installing a ZR1 splitter on my C7 Corvette. So guys, today Terry and I are going to be installing this ZR1 splitter from Extreme Online Store. This is a new product that they're carrying. They also do the complete front nose as well as the splitter as well as the upright winglets. It's, so it's a, it's a complete kit. Um, at this point I've chosen to just do the splitter itself. Who knows, maybe one of these days we might go all the way um, and do the whole front end, but um, we're just doing this today. Now I'm going to be showing you how to install it. Terry and I, are, you've seen us do these before. Um, and as we did this, um, it's really, really cool the fact that you're not going to be putting a bunch of extra holes in your car. If you already have a splitter on the car, the holes are going to match right up. You're not going to have to worry about any extra drilling, maybe a little rounding one out to be able to put the rivet in. But other than that, holes line right up so your whole, your, your bumper is not going to become Swiss cheese. And I was very, very pleased with that. But uh, you can take a look at this. You can see how aggressive this winglet is um, and how far this sticks out. Um, in the same, same breath, I went ahead uh, knowing full well that the splitter that I had on the car, which was a stage 2 splitter, and I'll show that on the screen there, um, I had hit it a couple of different times and it scraped really bad up in this area here on both sides of the car. Um, so uh, I have another product that we are putting on it called Slip Low, which is a uh, universal skid plate that you can actually adjust it. You cut it to fit and it attaches on the bottom of it. And so um, be sure and check out our other video with that. I didn't want this, I didn't want this splitter all scratched up like I had done to the other one. So before this thing ever touched the ground, it's already got the, the uh, protection package on it. So like I said, we'll be putting up a, I'll put a link to that video um, in, the, in this. Hopefully I'll be able to release both of them about the same time. Um, if not, be sure to be on the lookout for that video. And it's, uh, like I said, it's uh, sliplow.com, um, as well as make sure that you go to Extreme Online Store, check their product out. Um, like I said, it's, uh, they do a great job. This is a super, when I was super excited, they had told me that this was coming. Um, I was like, man, put me on the list. I really want to be able to have one of those. And it just so happened that about a month ago, I split, uh, actually cracked my splitter on this side over here, and so I needed to be able to take it off. Uh, I think it's repairable. I'll have to probably see if I can do some uh, some work to it and then get it repainted. But um, but this one is just really really cool. So anyway, uh, go ahead and sit back. We're gonna want, we're gonna walk you through it. Um, you've seen these videos before, but uh, this one does go on just a little bit different. Um, but like I said, it utilizes the same holes. Terry's going to go ahead and uh, drill out the rivets uh, and take the screws off so we can get this uh, this stage two sp uh, splitter off the car. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fi uh, film it, but I'm going to speed everything up so you, we're not boring you as we're pulling that off. And then we'll we'll slow everything down once we get ready to install the new one. Ready? You bet. Terry's got the uh, the front splitter off, and he's just now wiping all the debris off there. Um, so we're going to clean that up real good, get that ready to go. So here's the hardware that the, the kit comes with. Uh, it comes with the sticky tape that we're going to be using here in just a second to go ahead and uh, mount on the very front of the splitter to the front of the bumper. It also comes with all of the machine screws and screws that you're going to need if your car is equipped with a uh, factory uh, skid protector on the bottom. 
my car isn't, so we're not going to actually be using these. But these holes are already drilled, and I'll be showing you that in the in the uh, video. Uh, but we will be using the rivets as well as the um, the attachment screws for the uh, side winglets. So that's pretty much all there is. Um, so it's very simple installation. And once we get up, get the um, sticky tape on, and we get the the splitter up on the car. It'll be very uh, self-explanatory on exactly where everything goes. The first step we're going to do here, we've got our splitter. I'm going to take our sticky tape, and I'm just going to start right here on this corner. It's like so. I don't want to come right all the way to the edge because I don't want it to be seen, but I'm going to get it in front of the screw holes, and we're just going to slowly bend it around here. So it's, it'll do its job, but it won't be seen. Just a little bit to spare. Once we've got our tape on, we're just going to pull it off. And off it comes. All right, so now... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the splitter. I'm going to go ahead and move it on over to the car. So now I'm moving this over here and I'm going to hold it up. And I'm going to try to hold it so Terry can get the screws on the ends, but I'm not going to put the tape up against the car. This way we can get, we can get the uh, splitter centered so we make sure that we get it right where it belongs. I'm just starting them, just barely getting them started just to hold it up. Because these can be at some point. Now, Scott, if you can, these here, I would like you to try to get it. Is, now, check this and see if you can. You want me to lower it down, the car down a little bit? Or? It, looks, it looks good. Okay. Now, that's holding it. Yep. The reason I want to do this is because the winglets I want to put on and then line these up because you can move this a little bit somewhat each way. Right. Yeah. This way you get it fine-tuned, guys. Um, but what I did notice on these, that these screws, uh, some of the some of the splitters that we've worked with in the past, they don't always line up so well. This one here went right in. The screw line, lined right up. We've got our nice, really big winglet here. You can see the ZR1 style winglet, and Terry's getting all the screws ready to go. Um, so you, this one actually is connected by three uh, three different connection points. Um, these are pretty beefy winglets, um, and you, we were trying to squeeze them and see, you know, because you can see that they're kind of hollow inside, and um, I don't, I couldn't pinch them with my finger by any means, but you wouldn't want to just take it and, you know, we're going to use a drill, but we're not going to reef these screws down. We're going to tighten them up, we're going to snug them up, but I wouldn't just, just get on it because you could very well break the plastic. Right there? Yeah. Okay, and you just snug them up with my hand. Okay, now I'm going to take the screw gun, but I'm going to back it down to where it's, you know, just not really tightening them up too much, just so you don't strip them out. There you go. And that should hold it very well. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Step down. Let's do it like this. That one. That one. Okay, now we'll just line that end up. Yep, we got it. Good? Yep. And we'll just do the same thing. I gotta say, this is so far has been one of the easiest ones we've ever done. Okay, 
There that should go. be it. That's okay. it. Okay, so now we've got that. So now all we need to do is just double check our distances here. Yeah. So how's that look? It looks pretty good. They're almost dead on. Okay. These screws here go in the back side of it, of the holes. There's a set of holes here. Right. There's a set of holes here. These screws here go in the backs. These ones here are for rivets. Okay. Now, guys, we were talking originally as Terry's putting some of these screws in. We were talking about the machine screws that come with it for the, sh the uh, protective skid plate. If your car came with the protective skid plate with the original factory uh, splitter, that would be fitting right inside this groove right here, okay, right along this way. And that's where all those screws go, all the right, all the way through there, okay. So it does come with those screws. And the screws that Terry is using now are the original factory screws that holds the bottom of the bumper onto the car as well as the bottom of the splitter. Okay. And I'm not really yarding them on there right now because I just want to get everything kind of lined up. Yeah. Now one thing I want to do want to point out while he's doing this is that you remember we had the side skirts that come down here um one with this new splitter you're not gonna first you're not gonna even see it but it was just more cosmetic but you can see right here these are the screws that originally sat that they screwed to well they're not gonna hook up on on there anymore so we're taking those off now mine were tore anyhow so i was gonna have to either get new ones or take them off so um this just makes it easy for me i don't have to put them on now Let me check and make sure that I've got all the ones that I need to be at this point. And I do. So now I can take and just kind of snug them all up. Again, try not to use the screw gun if you're doing it like this and put it on drill because you will strip these out. So the best thing to do is back it off a little bit. And you'll hear that little thing. And what I would like to do is go behind it with just a regular ratchet and use it instead of the screw just to make sure that nothing. Yeah, just so it's snug but not too yeah. ripped out. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Now we're going to go to the rivets. All right. I got everything set up. Now we're just going to stick rivets in. I have the luxury of having this air thing, which makes it really nice. But a hand rivet will do fine inside the garage. Let's just put the rivet in. Let it go. These are aluminum, by the way, which is nice. I always like the aluminum rivet. This is also with these rivets, they have a gripping thing in it that is what it does. It'll pull everything tight to it as you do it. And that's one, two, you, one more and you, that'll be the end of this one. You kind of can tell we've done this a few times, huh? It's actually really simple. And the, and the more you do it, like, like Scott said, we just done so many of them that it becomes like a habit. It's like muscle mem memory. Yeah. <laughs> but it just... But for doing them for the first time, it, they're actually really kind of simple to put on. Yep. It just takes a little patience. And, and 
and not and not being afraid to drill a hole in your car. Yeah, in the front of your <laughs> spoilers, there's not too much you can hurt. One more, and that's it. You're done. You're done. All right. Ready to go. And there now we the have it. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And when it comes time that you do want to go to Extreme Online Store and get your ZR1 splitter, you'll know exactly where to go and how to get it and how to put it on. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit that bell button so you'll be notified of our next uploads. And again, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night.